Good morning children. I am back again. Today I am going to show the transfer section of a hydrophytic stem. I have taken hydrilla stem for this. So the things required or material required for this experiment are a surgical blade, a forcep, a needle, slide, watch glasses, glycerin, saffronin, water, cover slips. Now I'll show you how to cut the TS of this hydrilla stem. This is hydrilla stem. Hold the stem into your left hand. Hold the blade like this into your right hand and cut the thin slices of the hydrilla stem as you cut the pieces of cucumber, slices of cucumbers at home. Make sure the tissues are not injured and it is very thin as well as evenly cut. Just see, I have cut four or five pieces. Now I transfer them into water and select two, three thin pieces and transfer them into another watch glass in which I have taken water and one or two drops of saffronin. Two to three drops of saffronin. Let it be in water with the saffronin for five minutes so that. It takes the strain. Now I transfer it again back to the water so that the extra strain, whatever extra saffronin is being washed out. Now I select thinnest of the strain, thinnest of the piece and take a slide. Put glycerin on it, a drop of glycerin. Make sure that you hold the slide like this. Do not hold the slide like this so that it gets straight. Now, with the help of the brush, transfer your thinnest and the well stained strain, well stained mount on the slide and cover it with the help of a cover slip. While putting the cover slip, make sure that there are no air bubbles and it is being evenly spread. Whatever the extra glycerin is, just soak it with the help of the filter paper so the slide is clean. Now we focus it under the microscope. And it looks like this. Let me show you how does it, what you have to see. That since it is hydrophytic stem, it will have lots of air chambers. The air chyma, parenchyma with lots of air spaces. Outermost covering is epidermis. Under the epidermis, hypodermis is there. And the cortex is having lots of air chambers. Which gives it a buoyancy. Xylem is reduced to one central element because it does not need to conduct water. Phloem is very well developed. Endodermis and pericycle can be seen very well. I'll show you in this microscope. You can see very well this slide which we have prepared. The xylem is reduced in the center. This phloem is very well developed. You can see lots of air adenchyma, the air chambers and if you just move it a slightly you can also see the epidermis and the hypodermis. So the reasons for identification is that the xylem is reduced, cuticle is absent, 
lots of air chambers are present in the form of adenchyma so this is the hydrophytic stem we have taken hydrilla for this thank you children